Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, February 5th, and a very wintry week is on tap with several opportunities of snow and cold temperatures. The first uh, system will come in for uh, late this afternoon, but especially for tonight into early tomorrow morning. A widespread one to four inches of snow. The heaviest amounts will be across the southern part of the state. Some areas can pick up around six inches of uh, snow. That's where we have some winter weather advisories, and some of those could be extended east. We'll uh, show you those in a moment. And then we expect uh, more light snow Tuesday night, and we could see another inch, maybe two inches then. And then we're going to watch it could be a pretty strong Alberta Clipper system that will move in for late this week, and that could bring some more uh, accumulating snow with some strong winds that could cause a lot of blowing and drifting of snow. Right now, the best bet, that would be from around uh, Friday night into Saturday night. As we look at yesterday, we had a high of 30, a low of 6. We had 13 hundredths of an inch of melted precipitation. So far this morning, we had a low of 5 degrees, and we had 2.8 inches of snow yesterday and a storm total of 4.8 inches of snow. We have 4 inches of snow on the ground now, almost 28 inches so far for the year, just about 70% of the normal entire year's snowfall. So we're ahead of pace right now, and we continue to see more snow in the forecast. Out there this morning, you can see temperatures where there are more clouds in the uh, upper single digits to low teens, and as you get further to the east, temperatures drop down to almost 0 degrees at uh, more or less a pretty cold out there this morning and uh, Blissfield stations down we'll get that up and running here uh, hopefully within the next couple of hours you can see on the satellite view our next weather system that's going to be moving out of the uh, central plains will be moving to the east and very slight southeast and again that'll spread moisture back into the area by late in the day but especially for tonight again precipitation won't be extremely heavy but it'll certainly add up to a few inches of snow across much of the area and if we look at the uh, radar, you can see some of that mixed precipitation to snow as the warm air tries to come up over top of the cold air, and it won't make it, but this activity will continue to slide. I think the heaviest snow will be from around uh, I-96 south into Indiana and Ohio, where, again, a lot of areas can see between 2 to 5 inches of snow, something like that. And if we look at the uh, weather map this morning, you can see that area, low pressure system, uh, that'll be moving out of the Rockies. We've got a pretty good area where we have moisture kind of coming up. Uh, the, the bulk of it will be just off to our south, but uh, Michigan will get our share of snow as well. But I think the best chance for any uh, significant uh, accumulations are going to be across the southern part of the Michigan, down into the Ohio Valley here for the week. And then if we look at the weather map by tomorrow, that low pressure system will move off to the southeast. I think we'll see uh, uh, snow in the morning begin to move off to the south and east. And then as we uh, look at the uh, Wednesday forecast, another system off to our south will bring some significant snow across portions of Ohio, Indiana. Uh, then we'll have more activity. And then we got a cold front you can see at the top of the map here. That's going to be sinking south later on this week. And that, again, that's going to be associated with some energy coming out of the northwest. And that's going to move into Alberta, drop down, and again, bring a clipper system into the uh, Great Lakes here by the end of the week. So not any one particular big storm, but if there is one storm that has a lot of potential, it will be the one for uh, late this week, that clipper system. It could be a pretty strong one. That's the one I think we're going to want to keep an eye on. But several opportunities for at least some minor accumulations of snow. And you can see where that band of uh, the heaviest snows looks like it's going to fall right over the next six days. It includes the Great Lakes. So again, it's going to be a pretty snowy forecast period for uh, much of the time this week. As far as the forecast goes today, you can see about a 90% chance of snow moving in for late today, but especially for tonight, and that'll linger into tomorrow morning, at least one to two inches around the Breckenridge area. And again, further south, it'll be more like two to four inches, maybe locally six as you get into southwest lower Michigan, we'll have some enhancement off Lake uh, Michigan. And then uh, as we get into tomorrow late into early Wednesday, another uh, weak system will move through, bringing us another trace to two inches of snow. And then again, that system for late this week, uh, will also bring more in the way of snowfall as well. As far as uh, weather watch this morning, you can see a large area of winter weather advisories off to our west, moving into the southwest lower Michigan. Again, these may be extended off to the east here later on today. We'll have to watch and find out. But again, very cold temperatures, wind chill advisories across much of Wisconsin, Minnesota, and back into the Dakotas. Again, this is going to be a very wintry week coming up for most of the area. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day. A great work week and 73 is to all.